Hi, I'm Charlie Hamilton. I'm one of the older members of the Model Railroad Club and I'd like to invite you in to take a tour of our railroad. This is our metropolitan area, or our city area, and it's a composite of many of the towns in Beaver County. And what we have tried to do is to show you what a city looked like in that day, how busy it was, how many people were here, how many different things are going on in the city. You notice that we have a traffic light system. We try to have duplicated everything. Every one of our buildings is detailed. No building sets on here that's not detailed inside or out like it should be in a regular town. The area that you're now looking at is our mountain aerial and our municipal golf course. And this particular mountain here is very dear to me because it was made by my eight-year-old grandson by himself. Uh, the area that we're looking at now is our scenic area which depicts the Allegheny River below Hamilton, Pennsylvania. The piers that you see in the river were from a bridge which carried rails across to the mine on the other side. When the coal was depleted in the mine, then the bridge was taken down and sold for scrap. The area coming down here on the side, the rocks are individually made and took four years to build. The trees are all handmade. It's a very fine example of what can be done when a club works together in scenery. This area that you're looking at now is by all the members is called our West Virginia hillside. And if you'll look very closely, you will see why it's called our West Virginia hillside. Also in this area, you'll find the coal mining industry. It was depicted in the early days of the coal mines. There's the company stores, there is the company housing, uh, and it's a very tragic story about the coal miners and how they exploited the children for very small wages during that period of time. What we have in this area is a blast furnace that was modeled after the one that was at Jones and Lachlan in Aliquippa, Pennsylvania. You'll notice on the three bins over there are the three ingredients which are used to make steel. There's iron ore, coke, and limestone. And if you look very closely at the blast furnace here, it was a source of employment for 17,000 people in Alquippa, Pennsylvania, and today there is nothing there. But the area that we have here today is the firmery down below, which was used by the Alquippa Steelworks it was used for a great many number of years by the municipality until they got medical facilities in Aliquippa, Pennsylvania. When you worked in the steel mills, you were required to live in company housing, and that's what's just in front of me. This is the plan of housings that you were supposed to live in, and there were 11 of them in existence. And down below, you can see the main street of Aliquippa. The blue building that you see down there is the company store and that was the mercantile building where you were required to spend the money that you made at the mills. Uh, we got moved over here. We originally had our layout in Freedom, Pennsylvania, and the building was demolished, and we moved over here, and we've been here now for uh, a little better than 15 years or so. We hold open house every year at the Christmas season, and we have open house periodically through the years and we advertise in the newspaper. We never, ever charge an admission charge to our building. It's strictly funded through the two commercial shows that we have at Center Stage. And that's how we operate. If, if you would like to become a member or would like to participate, we are open here every Tuesday night. And uh, right here, just come in, knock at the door, or come on in, and we welcome everybody male, female, young or old.